you're quite safe here. Hello, Afwax. Mandy's moment. A bum bum bum. A bum bum bum. bum. Uh, it's building with minifigs. Uh, take inspiration from the Lego Ninjago Ninjago uh, movie. You see Ninjago, and I say Ninjago, which was released in September 2017. Build a ninja in the midst of a martial arts move. Show your ninja flying, punching with incredible force, or performing another action packed manoeuvre. So that was Wednesday. I've had a very busy week. Uh, Fawn, Series 15, released in 2016. Props Flute. Typically, collectible Lego minifigures get only one new element produced specifically for them. Fawn's unique leg and head elements bucked this trend by remaining specific to only this minifigure for years after its release. Um, I think I've got Fawn somewhere. Hmm, but where? Um... I think I got it because I wanted the flute for, for Tim. Uh, he's definitely not a pirate. Um, Unicorn Girl. Uh, series 13 released in 2015. Props none. Unicorn Girl's horn element originally appeared as an attachment to the horse helmet from 2010's Kingdom theme. Those two parts together allowed normal Lego horses to be transformed into unicorns. The horn element's most famous use, however, was for Unikitty from the Lego movie franchise. And that was Mandy's a moment, a bum 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 bum. Thank you. Uh, right, we'll now do uh, minifig. Dungeons and Dragons minifig. Who have we got today? Oh, we actually get a little dragon today. That's a thrill. Um, all right, let's just. That's that's fabulous. Pop you there. There, that looks like we've got a little tail. Voila. Now then, we've got a, a, a lady and a fella. Now, who are we going to go for? Oh, crumbs. I actually, I think my favourite, let me just give you a close-up here. So, we've got that option. That I like, I like that face quite a lot. And then we've got the angry options. I think I'm going to go for... Uh, I think I'm going for I think I'm going for this one just because I love the eyebrows. Absolutely love the eyebrows. Okay, so we've got some sort of evil fawn here. Now let's just check the crib sheet and see who this is. Um, this is Tiefling Sorcerer. The Tiefling Sorcerer. By the way. Have we got to the bottom? Well, we'll have to wait and see if Trevor Poulter has replied to this. But we've got two Tasha the Witches. Tasha the Witch Queens. That That is a matter that, that I hope will be resolved today. If not, I will I will require someone uh, to tell me what's what with that. Well, this is a very good minifig. Um, right, close up. Here we go. Mm, that's pretty good, isn't it? Really good head pieces with, uh, with with this minifigure set, don't you think? Really love that dragon as well. Anyway, there we go. That's Tiefling, uh, the sorcerer, with uh, who also gets a spare head, which is rather fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous. Right then, uh, let's do bag five. All 
right then, we start with a minifig. Um, now then, we've got a fella with extraordinary beard and moustache. Uh, or we've got a lady uh, who seems very nice. Mm, let's go lady with this one. They also have a sort of like furious uh, green faces on the back. Um, miserable, miserable downturned mouth on that one. I think I'm going to go now then. I think I'm going to go fierce, fierce lady with this one. Oh, wow, she's fabulous. She's fabulous. Um, close up. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's very much me when I've been on hold for over an hour and then I get cut off. Do you ever have that happen? Abs to customer services? Absolutely horrendous. Oh no, don't lean against don't no don't don't fall back and lean on there thank you thank you whatever your name is um sharon no not sharon that's sheree sheree that was sheree um okay here we go here we go right what are we starting with today okay here we go um first up today is the disco so if you could please it'll soon D I S C O It is D I S C O It is D Doinch to Zai Idiot it is S Spinning it to C Cat Obviously D I S C O It is D I S C O It is D do wait the I idiot it is S spinning it to seek a toy fiercely Boost the bad wing a window of coins Thank you Thank you Thank you real nice real nice Ooh, hang on that goes that way okay Is that down? Yes, it is. Yes, it's down. It's down. It's down. Uh, first up is Maggie. Mag, bag, bag, baggy, bag, 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 baggy, bag, bag, mag, Maggie, mag. Uh, and he says no tassels. I mean titles. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Oh, oh. Did I leave the titles off? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, oh, and here she comes. A rum dum 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 wonder Ruth Hales. A rum dum 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 wonder Ruth Hales. She's a wonder Ruth Hales. She just quietly get down. Inside it ties, says the world to rise. And Charlie Abram, num 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 num, wonder if there's a nature's alive. Thank you. Uh, it says again, no opening credit song. Sighs. Oh dear, Mother Goose. Oh a dearie, a dear. Do I really need to say it? Do I? Me <laughs> stink. Yes, Yeah, 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 yeah. I can only apologise. Can only apologise. It's been a very busy week. That, that that's all I can. That's all I can offer up. It's just been a very busy week, and uh, I apologise. I apologise unreservedly for the uh, the omission. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, could you do me a favour and check the instruction book regarding that roofing, please? Voila. Uh, when you put it back into place after sorting out the other bit, I think you changed its orientation. Some photo evidence, not the position of the purple tiles and grey slope, before. Mm-hmm. 
and after. Yes, the after was the correct way. Uh, the before was the incorrect way. Uh, so, uh, voila, I, I got it right in the end. Little Sue, she's got little Sue. She's little, and she's got Sue. Little Sue. Yes, hello, Emma. Hello to you, Jimmy Willikers. You've had a you've had a busy old week, haven't you? Uh, it's been such a busy old week, and and, and uh, got this tea on the green today. So the busy old week does not conclude uh, until four o'clock this afternoon, and then I've got house guests for the weekend. Oh yes, which means we won't be able to do live and bricking tomorrow. Um, so it's been a busy old week, little Sue. Yeah. Yeah, real busy old week. Yeah, what, what were you doing yesterday? I was doing a uh, a cookery course yesterday, a bread making course, which was fabulous. Uh, I I put a little photo of of what I made into the uh, into the group chat, so you will have seen what I made. I made I made fougas, I made a pan au champagne, I made campan, sorry, a, a pan au campan, uh, which is like a rustic loaf. Um, I made baguettes. And I made two types of chocolate brioche. Thank you. If I just say to you that when I came in and uh, Georgie Gibbon saw the plaited chocolate brioche, she, because of course it was still warm at that point, uh, she had a go on it and she ate half, I repeat, half of that plaited loaf in one go. I mean, I will say it, it was as light as a feather, but good God. I mean, she was she just went down on it like a dog, like a dog on a bowl. Uh, anyway, back to you, little Sue. Yes, back to me, please. Thank you. It's my turn. Yes, it is your turn. Yes. Emma, may we have a quick look in the instruction booklet to see the real names of the mini figures in this set? Thank you. Thank you, I would appreciate this, thank you. Mm. All right, what do you mean? She's not called Cherie. What? What? She's not called Cherie. Okay, so we've got a uh, dwarf cleric. We've seen him. Uh, the cleric, A cleric channels divine magic from the god they serve. They are powerful healers who can help their party survive any encounter. In battle, clerics wield a holy symbol and a weapon that shines with radiant light. Oh, so it, it sort of is a powerful torch. Um, okay, so what else have we had? Oh, the, that's a mimic. That was a mimic. That, okay. Well, some mimics are more intelligent than others. They are tough, complex creatures. A fun favourite among dungeon masters, the mimic's natural shapes can vary, often resembling a wooden treasure chest or a rock, and they can flawlessly take on any appearance to suit their needs, maybe even a bed. Huh? We've got two mimics there. Yep, yep, yep. Haven't had any of those yet. Um, oh. Oh, okay. So we haven't, we haven't got all of the... Uh, So we've just got Beholder, Displacer Beast, uh, Mimic, Cinder Howl, the Red Dragon, uh, Cleric, Gnome Fighter, Orc Rogue and Elf Wizard. We have, oh, have we had Elf? Yes, we've had Elf Wizard, but that's it. Th those are the only ones that are named uh, at the in the instruction booklet, Little Sue. So I, I imagine that that's a little disappointing. That is a little disappointing, am I yes. Uh, so I guess she is called Sherry. Yes, she is. She's called Sherry now. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry about it. Maybe, maybe we will get instructed. We will be told in the other booklets uh, what their real names are. Maybe we will. Oh, hang on a minute. Did we get him? Hang on a minute. Hold your hosses, please. Hold your actual hosses. Oh, yes. Orc Rogue. So we've had elf. Oh, we've got all of them. So dwarf cleric. We've had gnome fighter. Gnome fighter. We've had him. Uh, it says practice makes perfect when you're a fighter. These warriors train with a variety of weapons and armor to become masters of combat. 
They learn to think clearly in battle and to push themselves beyond normal limits to keep their allies safe. Orc Rogue, we've had, we've had Orc Rogue. Rogues are masters of stealth who can attack from the shadows or sneak past without a sound. Their clever minds and quick fingers are adept at picking locks and disarming traps. If a rogue is watching, you won't know until it's too late. Uh oh, and uh, and elf wizard, we've we've had her as well. Wizards study books and scrolls to learn the art of magic. They copy spells into their spell book. The sum of all their knowledge and their most precious possession. Each wizard spe wizard specialises in a school of magic, such as illusion, necromancy, or enchantment. Mm. Brrr, enchantment, you say? Ooh, hoo, hoo. Um, uh, Tim. He's definitely not. A, I'm, I'm not a pirate. No, he's, he's not a pirate. Uh, he really isn't a pirate. No, absolutely not. And uh, no, I have no, no, no. I haven't received. Um, I haven't received. Uh, any haven't received any um, any legal letters from him uh, with regard to that so we can unequivocally say uh, that Tim is definitely definitely not uh, a pirate yeah yeah okay over to you Tim uh, well thank you for, uh, for the birthday celebrations and for positioning on the wobbly uh, you missed the Tim thigh story but to recap my brother once dared me to have tim uh, tattooed on one bum cheek and thy on the other i'll, I'll leave the uh, the missing vowel uh, to your very active imagination to be clear i did not accept this dare but i was tempted The better, but but he meant for the avoidance of doubt. He 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 means his he means his 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 Captain Birdseye, who is also not a pirate, but he means his Captain Birdseye. Okay, just just so we just get that out of the way. This is Captain Birdseye. Thank you, uh, Eric. He's got a duck of yo. They both like watching Lego. And the real like musicals. Oh, his name is Eric. Ba ba ba. It's Edward. This is what happens when you tap the sword slash filter button on the YouTube, a circle in the picture. What options come up then? Oh, let, well, let's have a go. Hang on. Excuse me while I leave the disco momentarily. Um. Scrolling down, scroll no, no, no. I still just get published and held for review, and then response status. Search for subscriber count. Um, there it is, there it is, there it is. But we'll get we'll we'll get over to the YouTube's. I have a feeling that. Uh, I don't know if it's certain words or whatever um, that I have no control over, but I, I get the feeling that they just randomly don't show some things that are said on YouTube. That's, that's all I can guess, because it's an absolute mystery. Mystery. We are mystified by it, are we not? Mystified. That goes on there. And that goes on there. Yep. Yes. 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 All right. Thank you. Um, Claire, 1608. There she was, just a walking down the street, singing dude, up separated, diddy dum, diddy do. Says, I missed the me in dared me and thought your brother had himself tattooed. Oh, this is to Timothy. What a devoted brother, I thought. Uh, even my multi-tatted brother didn't have my name on him, though he had mother to try to win my mum's approval 
for the inking. Hmm. Uh, Tim said, uh, did, he, did he have the M on one bum cheek and the on the other one, though? That's Captain Bird's eye. It's Captain Bird's eye. Claire1608 says, I never looked. No, no, no. I mean, nobody... Nobody wants to look at their brother's Captain Captain Bird's eye. Nobody. It's it's not not right. No, no one wants to do that. Hang on a minute. That's round the wrong way, and we could get ourselves into a lot of conniptions if we don't fix that. A lot of conniptions. Okay, we can now go to uh, the Google eyes. The Google eyes. Google eyes. They're watching you, watching you, watching you. Oh, here he comes. Bevis. He's got a duck. No, what on earth? What? What? That's Eric. Bevis Musson. The sensei. Uncle Strawberry. The moaning Minway. The Matara. It's because I've had a few days off. That's what's happened here. Uh, no theme tune today. <laughs> Just straight into Mandy's moment. Uh, hashtag standards, etc, etc. And then forgetting the CMF until after the null. Hashtag standards. Oh. <sighs> Agree that it's odd that Deirdre has two heads but only uh, one face on each. Usually that's because their hair slash hat slash headpiece doesn't cover the whole of the back of their head, but that's clearly not the case here. Just so we're clear, do you agree, though, that only weirdos would have a minifig that have different <laughs> head and hands? agree about that don't you this might be gloves <laughs> might be, be flesh coloured gloves you never know <laughs> no missing comments were after the one about substantial ga gats but you showed your phone and the only comment that it was shown that day was Jillian's so it was definitely an issue with evil Mr. Utube and not you open bracket this time <laughs> It's on the bag two video, which I'm pretty sure was Friday. That's a lovely little terrifying bedroom there. Is the roof over the bed at the right angle, though? It does seem to be a bit close to the bed. Uh, but that might be a design choice rather than builder error. It's it's in the right place now. That is that is that is definitely now in the correct place. Yes. So it's it's a little bit loomy, but now we know that's a mimic. It's not a bed. That's a mimic. That's a mimic. They're hiding. They're hiding in plain sight. Um, now, what's that? I've, I've, I've lost track of what's going on here. Ooh, now then. What? There? What? There? What? Hang on. What? Hang on. What? 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 Oh, no. This I've got dreadful spatial awareness here. Oh, that there, there, there. Okay, okay. I've got it. I've pulled it back from the brink. Thank you. I've pulled that back from the brink. That was that was that was me very much on the cusp cusp of a mild panic. Very much so. Um. Oh, Maggie, Maggie, Maggie Silverman. She's come back. I remember, she did, did the first comment. Uh, she's back. Ah, oh, super. Uh, she says, I'm really enjoying the Dungeon and Dragon build you're doing. I find the game fascinating, but never played it back in the day. I've ordered some of the minifigures from Lego when they arrive. They'll make a great addition to the adventure village I'm building in my spare room. What? 
Oh, we're going to have to see pictures of that. How can we how can we arrange that? Um, I do say village because it's quite small. Uh, my son set me off with Lego again a few years ago when he gave me all his old stuff. I've been building ever since. P.S. You can call me Maggie. I don't mind. Brilliant video. Thank you. Oh, you're, you've got a lovely lady. What a lovely lady. Um, well, there's no me there's, there's no message here from uh, from Eric in case you did post over here. Hmm. I mean, we're we're all sort of slightly. We 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 don't trust Mister Ootubes, do we? We we let's face facts. We don't trust him. Um, but that does conclude uh, the business of the club. If you could please, little sir. Emma, I think you'll find that it's up to me to say that concludes the business of the club. So hashtag Stan Dwitz. Hashtag. Stan Dwitz. Hashtag Stan Dwitz. Hashtag Stan Dwitz. Yeah, I get on with it. And that concludes the personal of the club. Please settle back and get ready for Tony and the Fazio time. That's it. Press the button. No weapons. No weapons. No rock ones. No rock ones. Well, look, it's clearly the top of uh, the top of mm. I mean, this is this this is fun, isn't it? Me, you watching me try to, to get work out how this goes on. Oh, there we are. I've, I've done it. <gasps> I did it. That's a very good little chimney, isn't it? That's an excellent little chimney stack, although this gap here is giving me conniptions. It's giving me absolute conniptions. Hmm. Um, right. Maybe there's a reason for that gap that we will find out later, but if there isn't a reason for that gap, I, 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 will, I, will, I will get twitchy. I know you're with me on this, Snitchzilla. Um, we will twitch together. Um, so, yes, yeah, so Wednesday. So I'm sorry I've been uh, been absent for the past two days. Uh, but Wednesday, I had a very early start. I had to get up at, at uh, six in the morning and uh, go to that there London to do the paper cuts. Uh, podcast because uh, and some pickups for season two of Y, which will be coming out shortly. I don't know precisely when, but uh, uh, that's cut that that's dropping soon. Um, and then I uh, that was in Highbury and Islington, and then I walked from Islington to Bloomsbury, so I had a bit of time to spare. And because uh, I was doing one of those, um, doing a talking head thing for Christmas, I had to wear a Christmas hat. Um, but that'll be, uh, I think it's Channel 5, that'll be on Channel 5. Around the Christmas time, I think it was best Christmas sitcoms. So I was chatting about those. Um, and then yesterday, of course, I was doing doing a bread baking course it was fantastic it was really really good really good I'm someone who like once I'm shown how to do something once in when it comes to cooking then that's it I can do it for life so um it was absolutely brilliant really brilliant and oh my god the baguettes I gave my I gave my next door neighbour uh, two of the baguettes because obviously I brought home way too 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 much bread for the both of us. So my neighbour always does very well out of these things. So she got two baguettes, and I left them with her, 
and uh, and she said, "Oh, I've just I've just had a piece of cake, so I probably won't have, I probably won't have it today." And I said, "Well, just have a little bit of it, just so you t taste it while it's super fresh." And I got a, a text message from her within five minutes, just going, "It is bloody delicious," uh, and she couldn't stop eating it. But I'm t it really, really was. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. Voila. This is rather nice. I think we're making, um, just making little, little rooftops here. You'll be pleased to know we finally finished uh, watching Married at First Sight, Australia, season 11. Georgie turned to me and said, do you realise, and, and bearing in mind, she was very much the driver of this caper. She turned to me, we, we finished it this morning because the dogs got us up rather early and we just looked at each other and said, look, we've got one more episode, should we just watch it now? So we did, we were in bed having a coffee and watched it in bed. Very luxurious. Um, and um, that's nice. Hang on. Hang on a minute. I think I've got that around the wrong way. I think... So that goes that way. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there we go. That's that's on the wonk, isn't it? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. No, I'm no. I've got. I've, I've done it again. Hang on. That way round. Yep. And then there, there, there. But then it goes. It's going that way, right? Oh, oh. It's the, oh. So that's round the wrong way. So maybe I've got this round the wrong way. Maybe this is wrong. Hmm. Yes, there we go. There we go. I fixed it. I fixed it. What was I just talking about? I can't remember. Uh, Susan Barrett. That's lovely. Oh, yes, so we finished it this morning. And uh, Georgia Gibbon turned to me and she said, do you realise we only started watching this a week ago last Friday? So we have watched 37 hours of television. 37 hours of of um oh, that's the wrong way around of married at first sight australia season 11 in a week honestly it's it was it, it was absolutely and, and i regret nothing it was absolutely addictive i mean people have said this to me over the over the years Perks always goes had always gone on and on and on about Married at First Sight Australia, and I was like, no, I'm not interested in that. Not interested. Then it turned out I was more interested in that than I was in anything else. <laughs> in anything else. Uh, so that was quite the revelation. Met some lovely people on the course yesterday. Made a new friend called Lydia. She was lovely. We were bench partners. 
Um, she was really nice, really nice lady. And the guy who runs the course, just in, in case any of you are interested, um, he's called uh, Bakes Bake with Jack. It's his um, nom de plume. Um, apparently he's really big on YouTube. I had no idea. The only reason I, I know about him is because um, the lady who does my nails just said, "Don't worry, I know. I know I've got a chip on there." They, I'm, I'm due for, I'm, I'm due for a visit. It's next week though. She's, she's away on her honeymoon. So, um, we, we've, we've entered the week of tatty nails until she's back. Um, but she was the one who, who, told me about him because I was, I was, chatting about sourdough etc. Because her husband is a keen baker. And she said, "Oh, you need to uh, you need to watch bake, bakes with Jack." And, and she said, he, "He's um, he's he's local." So I only had to drive ten minutes to go on the 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 bread making course. There were people who'd come from all over the country. It was incredible, absolutely incredible. But it was really good. Um, it cost a hundred and fifty pounds for the day. Um, but it was a treat, you know, and you leave with a life skill. So I always think those things are, are worth it in the end. Um, I mean, like you never have to buy shop bread ever again. The, oh, it's just, it's worth it just to learn to do baguettes, but honestly, um, Fugas was great. Oh, the chocolate brioche boy oh boy oh boy oh boy very interesting dough chocolate brioche very sticky but lovely absolutely lovely voila And that is going on there. Where are we sticking down? No, I'm stuck down. To, I'm stuck down too soon now. Hmm, now why doesn't that want to go on? It does not want to go on. Why not? Now it does. Yep. I've got a I've got a spare thing here. Let me just have a little ah. Oh, hang on a minute. Let me go back. Hang on a cotton pick a minute. Yes. Yes. Oops. Put that one there. And that went there. Nice. Okay, and now we're going on. We're going on. And this will be the end of book one, I do believe. That's it. Oh, isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? In plain sight. That is lovely. And now we get it. In plain sight. The mimic. I really love that. What a lovely start. So nice. So nice. Absolutely love it. Okay, great. And that, that, that concludes book one. So uh, I will see you on Monday. Um, apologies that there's no live and bricking this weekend, but, you know, house guests are going to house guest. Um, uh, so 
subscribe, like, tell your pals, Affawax forever, and I will see you on Monday, and I do believe we can go to nine days. Nine days incident-free. Thank you. See you on Monday.